Well, hello there, neighborinos. We are going to make this little soccer ball right here. I hope. Um, I've done this once successfully, as you can see. It took a few times, but hopefully we can make this whole thing work for us. So, I'm using this tutorial online just so you know what I'm referencing. This uh, little British woman made this uh, football. Oh, and she's annoying. I can't listen to her. And I didn't like what she said a few times, so we're going to do this my way. So hopefully this will come out just fine. Alrighty, here we go. Um, start off, let's go from scratch, and let's go with a good old fancy new one. Okay. If you're starting off with the four viewports, please click the plus and go to maximize viewports. So you can just have one. You may have that little grid thing at the bottom. Don't worry about it. It really doesn't matter for what we're doing. Okay. Next step, I'll try to go through this as slow and monotonous as I can. Um, under the Create tab on the right-hand side, please change Standard Primitives, which is what you usually start off with, to Extended Primitives. And you're going to choose Hydra. Okay? Ignore what I just did there. Click and drag it out. It's going to look like a little diamond, probably something you would see on a video game, okay? Um, on the right-hand side, I need you to click on this middle one, the DDoC, ISOs, whatever the heck that is. I don't know. And then under Family Primitives, go 0.37 and press the Enter button. Um, okay, got that part done. Next step, um, I would like you to press escape on your keyboard, please, so it's kind of a fresh screen. Click your object, right click, go to convert, convert to edible poly. So what I did there was I just clicked on the object, right click, go to convert to edible poly, and this little fun thing's going to come up right here. Okay. Next step, click on the edge feature, and I want you to highlight the entire ball. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to look down on your screen where my mouse is, and see the word split. I want you to click it, please. Okay, do not press escape. Don't do anything. I need you to follow me step by step on these next few steps, please. Don't do anything besides what I say. Next step, click, as in left click, on the plus, and click on polygon. And I want you to highlight the entire ball. Okay? Now, we're going to do some advanced modifiers here in order to help round the ball off somewhat. So under the modifier list, you'll see a whole bunch of lists. These are fancy extra modifiers that you can use in order to create your object. The first thing you're going to do is call the Tessellate. Okay? Not the Tesseract off of you guys who like the Marvel movies or whatever else. You want to click this square right here that says Polygon. And under the iterations, click 2. What this does is break things up into more finer features so we can round it a little bit easier. I think that's what it does. It would make sense to me. Okay, next step, after the tessellate, no, tesseract, tessellate, go down, and we need to make this into a ball again. And what this will do is run out the edge. It'll say Sphery. Spherify, Spherify, like Spotify, I guess. Anyway, choose that one. As you see, now this is the top one up here. So if you got that, you are doing good so far. Your next step is to scroll down here. One more time, we're going to choose the Edit Poly one. Make sure you click the right one. And this will turn into more of a, of a rounded object. Next step on this is once the edible poly mode has been activated, you click on Polygon, which will activate the entire thing. You're going to scroll down to where it says Bevel. Okay, There's a box next to it. I want you to click it. Okay, Not a big fan of this box, but we will make it work. Click on this little down arrow right here and go to Local Normals. This thing is, you don't know, like where it is, you can move it over. Okay. Make sure this is local normals. Change this to 0.8. Okay. And change this to negative 0.5. Press enter. Press check mark. And now, if you click off to the side, you should have what looks like to be somewhat of a soccer ball. If you got this far, you've done really, really, really good. In fact, I'm surprised mine looks this good. 
yeah, I know I'm not going to hurt myself, pat myself on the back for this one, but we're doing good so far. So questions, please ask. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do on here is I'm going to make this swing things where it's a bit more round. So if I get my ball here selected, I need to go down to the mesh smooth and change the NURMS to classic, and that will round it off just a little bit easier. Okay, we're doing good so far, guys. Okay, next step, adding materials to it. If you wish, real quick, you can go up to render and do a quick render to see what it looks like, and you'll see kind of what your ball is looking like with a bit more detail than what it is. So, not bad. Okay. All right, so next thing we have to do is one more time, we're gonna to have to right click on this and convert it to the edible poly. What this will do is allow us to be able to look at these and separate the different sides. So you click on the element, press control, and start to select the five sided or the pentagon parts of this. So press control and click on all of them. If you mess up, you may have to just press escape and re-click them because I found that to be very annoying earlier. You might be able to press control or shift to deselect. That's usually the default for these, but can't promise you that's going to work. So find all the polygons. You'll start to see a pattern of these things as you're going through this. I'm pressing alt and the scroll in order to zoom around, or you can also use the orbit button, which is down here. There's orbit, which works also. Awesome. Okay, now once you have that done, go up to the Render tab, select Render, no, 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 don't select Render, select Material Editor and go to Compact Material Editor, please. Okay, now what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to click on this default 13 right here because I want to start off with a, with a clean slate, which will make things a little bit simpler for you. Okay, scroll down a little bit where you see color, we're going to make this jet black. As black as it can get. The diffuse level under the diffuse we're going to go 0.5 and the roughness 0.25. Now what you do next is you take this, you drag it over, you dump it on the ball. You'll think you missed it but you didn't. Because this did change the color but it disaffected the color of these also. I don't know the hard way. Okay. Press on control I and what that does is that selects the inverse of what you previously selected. <laughs> Makes sense, kind of. Okay, select the next one going over. Okay, ooh, that was fun. Hope it doesn't do that again. All right, click on color. Nope, not that one. Click color. We're going to go kind of a white, but not a pure white. But if you want to go pure white, go ahead. And we'll do the same thing, 0.5 and 0.25 on here. And go ahead and drag that over to here. Okay. Now, if you press escape, you'll see how you have a nice white ball. Close this out. Close this out. Looky, looky here, folks. You made yourself a nice soccer ball. I think that looks really cool. Looks shiny like a soccer ball, too. Okay. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to render this. So click render. And... Um, Go down to environment. We're going to click background here. I'm just going to choose a white background. If you want to go something else, go ahead. I really don't care. The tutorial for white, but I made you a few extra colors. So white, that's okay. Close this out. Now, if you render this, if you wait a moment, you'll see the background is now white. But probably just the lighting or something else like that. It would probably look a bit better on the colors. Um, please feel free to play around with that motion, but just let me know when you got done. Down here is a lot more things you can play around with. So go ahead and have some fun with this one. See what you can do. Uh, but when you got this done, you're good to go. We're going to do one more thing after this, but uh, that'll be in a different video when I make it because it's getting late, and I'm very pleased with just this. So please... Get this done when you do it. You're welcome to take pictures of your phone, post them on social media, whatever you want to do, make them look good. Um, show people what we do in class. All right? I hope that was fun.
Uh, please save it. You can call it football or soccer ball or whatever heck you want to call it. Football. There you go. Alright. Hope you enjoy the video. I think it's better than the one that was online. Bye-bye.